Hey all you wonderful Power Rappers, welcome back to another tutorial here at Power Apps Academy. Today we're going to be looking at a button within your app, whether you want it to be visible or invisible. So examples of when you might want this is, let's say you've got a like a settings button or an admin panel button that you only want people in a security, uh, in a certain security group to be able to see or if they're in a certain department and their profile you want them to see. So we're going to be looking at those two examples. There are other ways to do it, but in this video, we'll keep it simple. So we'll be looking at if, if someone's in a certain Office 365 group, then show the button. Or if someone's profile, if they're in a certain department, let's say they're in IT department in their profile, in their AD profile, then that will show the button. So um, before we hop right into it, let's just pop over to our partners over at powerappify.com. Guys, head over there. Uh, if you want any business templates, there's timesheet apps, there's hardware ordering apps, HR apps, all that kind of stuff that you can download and install and customize for your business, save you hours rather than having to write them from scratch, you can use those templates and build off those. So do head over there and check them out. Right, let's hop over to the tutorial. So guys, before we uh, hop into the video, please do smash up the like buttons just down there. It just takes a second of your time. It really does help us. We put a lot of time and effort into these videos, and it really helps us if you hit those likes. It uh, rates our videos better in in YouTube. So, really appreciate if you could smash up that for, uh, now before we hop into the tutorial. Right, let's head over there. Okay, so I've opened up uh, my demo app over here. You can see I've got a button for creating a work request, but um, I'm going to create a separate one. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one so control C and control V on that and let's call this button uh, admin settings so um, so we only want specific users who log into the app to be able to see that button because when you click on it it can you know, set some configuration things within your app so how do we hide this button depending on um, on on you know, what group let's say let's start with the office 365 groups um, so we've got the the button there um, and we go to the visible visibility property property so visible there we go you can see it's visible um, but uh, it's set to true by default but um, we only want it to be visible when we're in a certain group right so um, we're going to, providing you've got a group, go into um, Office Admin Panel, go into here, uh, Teams and Groups, create yourself a Office 36, Microsoft Office, Microsoft 365 group. Um, I've already got one here called, um, I'm going to just use this one, this Timesheet Admin Settings group, just for this example. Right, and then we go got to remove the true in there and we're going to do an if statement and we're going to go uh, count rows we'll, yeah, we'll explain how this works afterwards count rows which is a built-in function um, we're going to then do a filter so these nested functions here filter then we're going to go office 365 groups oh and I'm going to quickly find out that I haven't got the Office 365 groups. You can see I've got Office 365 users. So I'm gonna quickly hop over here to the connectors and I wanna add data. And we're gonna go Office 365. You can see there's the groups connector. Yes, we wanna click on that. Okay, cool. Have we got it? Yes, you can see it's added down there. Okay, let's go back to here. So can we find Office? three six five groups yay there we go and we want the list group members property there okay list group members right and we need the group id guys so um we go back over here to our group if we click on it it opens up the group properties over here you see this over here on the url this last long string of numbers we're going to highlight all those numbers and we're going to copy those Control c we're going to go back to our power app and we're going to plonk that in here that's called the group id number okay and then we're going to close those and then we're looking for the value okay and then we're just going to put a comma and we're going to go mail which is the mail property 
is equal to the uh, user who's logged on email um, dot email so basically it's looking in that group is there any associated email address that matches the email of the user who's logged on and that's doing a count okay of that so um, we're gonna close off the brackets there and then we're gonna say if the if the count of that is anything other than zero, which means it's one, it's it's um, it, it exists, then we're going to make the the visible true. Otherwise, we're going to make the visible false. Okay, and we're going to have to close our brackets. Okay, cool. So you can see that worked. Okay, so this is checking if the count of rows in the filtered table of group members where the email address matches the current user's email is not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, then it returns a true. And when it returns a true, visible equals true. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes sense. You can copy that, um, that string down and, and modify it. Don't forget whatever your group is, you get the ID from the URL of the group over here, and then you pl plonk it in there, and then that will return you. Uh, uh, return true and give you the functionality you need to hide that based on group membership. So that's one way. Okay, now that's hidden again. What's the other way? The other way is we're going to uh, look in um, someone's profile and AD and check their, their uh, department membership. So what is the value of their department? Okay, so we're gonna, for this one we're gonna use Office uh, 365 users, um, 365 users, uh, profile, my profile v2. Okay, that's the one we're going to pick out. And then we're going to go user. This is the logged on user whenever we do this. And we're going to use enter object ID because we're looking for the ID of that user. And then dot, we're going to we look at their department. Now we could do any of these, right? Country, if, if they're in, like, we only want someone in country UK or USA, whatever it is. Don't forget, it would have to match exactly the string that's in their profile. But we're going to do department. Okay, if their department is equal to, now I know mine's already in IT. Um, so that should return. That should return. Why is it not working? Uh, you, sorry, user profile v2. Okay, user profile v2, not my profile v2. So there we go, because it's an IT. Now if I go in here and I look in my users, close that, users, active users. If I click on myself, and I go into here, and I look in contact information. You can see my department's IT, right? Cool. All right. Therefore, in my app, it looks there, checks if I'm in IT. Let's say I was in HR. Would it return the button? No, it would be hidden. Okay. Cool. So that's it, guys. There's uh, two ways of hiding buttons from users depending on their group membership or their department in their profile. Hopefully that's helped. Do hit up the like. Let us know if you've got any comments below. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.